Hey guys, this is Pam. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a comparison video for you. Your long-awaited comparison of Fave Gourmand versus Gourmand Coquin. Okay, I have actually done a review of this one last week, but I decided not to do it because I have more developments. The more I wear it, the more I compare it. Um, yeah, it's it's changing. Okay, so I do want to talk to you about my full experience as well. Because I feel like it's important for you to know that in terms of I don't know if you're experiencing the same thing um, or you're about to experience the same thing and I don't want you to just judge it based on those initial tests, okay? So I do have an original bottle of Gurma Kokan, okay? Um, actually, I've had this for a long time. Well, not super duper long, but for a while now, for years now. And I have worn a lot, but it's not even as much as I would like to wear it because I thought it was discontinued forever until um, uh, I went to Paris with my husband this September for our anniversary and I was able to visit their flagship store um, in Paris and I was able to get um, a B bottle, okay? And I do want to flex this beautiful bottle, okay? Um, so I'm just so happy. Uh, this is an anniversary present. I got the gold um, bee bottle with the bees. Okay, I mean, of course, bee bottle with, it has the bees, yes. Um, this is 250 mil. Okay, so I do want to share that when I, when we were in Paris and I talked about the Gourmand Coquin and I was so shocked that they had it there. Um, and she said it was actually never discontinued. Um, so she doesn't know about any other countries, but she said that in Paris, it was never discontinued. But, okay, since the release of Fev Gourmand, okay, since the release of this one, uh, I have talked um, uh, at a, with the SA from Belgium, from um, Place Vendôme, uh, that once their tap, okay, once all of their Gourmand Coquin are done and over with it's it's not gonna be refilled there's no more gourmand cocaine it will now be forever replaced with fev gourmand so that's the information that i have for you all right so i said that i have already made a review last week about comparing the two but my experience sort of changed and that's what i want to talk to you about i think that's an important information to um to tell you because I don't know if you're experiencing the same thing or about to experience the same thing if you're just about to test it and I don't want you to just judge it based on those initial tests or initial experience um, so I've had this for at least a month now okay at least a month um, if not it's if not a month and a half okay but I have not done a review because I want to make sure I have fully worn it fully tested it so as me uh, me speaking to you uh, at this moment, I believe that I have fully tested it and fully experienced it to give you my proper comparison. Having said that, let's go ahead and compare the two. Are they different? Are they the same? The same. Okay, so initially when I got this bottle, of course I was so excited. In, uh, in fact, I customized my bottle. I got the pink cord if you guys are curious. So on the Gerlang website, you can customize your bottle. So this is their third option, I think. Well, whatever is the first pink cord that comes up, that's this one, okay? And I have the pink um, leather kind of um, texture cap. And that's what it is, okay? And you can also engrave your bottles, actually, right here. I just decided not to do it. I feel like the bottle is so nice and clean. I don't want to ruin it. So I, I, I like the cleanliness of it. All right. So when I first got my bottle super excited sprayed it and i was just immediately disappointed immediately brokenhearted i thought it was just watered down definitely 100 percent not the same in fact yeah that's just how i felt it feels like a really good dupe actually not even a not even the greatest dupe okay if, if, if you put it that way um of this one okay the original uh, yeah it felt so watered down like it's just trying to copy something but it's not even the same um, and then the more I wear it the more 
it's sort of intensifying. Okay, like I'm I'm seeing the resemblance. I, I see, yes, it's it's Gurman Kokang. Like you know exactly what it's trying to be. And I just keep testing it and I just feel like it doesn't even last. It's not even as strong. Um, the opening for sure is just so different, okay? Um, but then, so like even if, even though I put a lot of sprays on my arm, I have to look for it. I have to search for it. Where is the gourmand kokang that I know? Okay, but our noses are different, okay? So, so obviously I'm talking based on my experience. So based on how I know this, how, how this settles on my skin, I have a specific expectation, okay? So that's what I'm trying to achieve, trying to look for in this one when I have it on my skin. Um, yeah, it doesn't, I, I don't even, I wouldn't even like, get whiffs of it, okay? So those are my initial impression that it's watered down, it's not the same. I, 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 I do feel like it's still not the same though in terms of <laughs> that it's just not, okay? In terms of maybe the formulation whatsoever because, okay, um, it's a different perfumer and the notes are different even if um we don't even think about the notes if we, if we just dismiss the 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 note breakdown because you know different sides could give you different things okay but at least the perfumer is not even the same and they've changed the name okay they've changed the name but i think they have also changed the name of other perfumes but like still the same juice so i don't know i don't really know so the best way we can compare it is just based on experience. All right, so those are my initial thoughts, but it's sort of changed. The, the, the watered down that I'm talking about, okay? It's not, it doesn't feel like as watered down. I feel like it has intensified from the time that I got this bottle. So let's say it's been six weeks at least. It's intensified from the first time that I sprayed it. Um, that's how I feel. So, so maybe initially you will have the same experience. It's gonna be kind of thin, watered down um, version of gourmand cocaine. But yeah, to me, since the first day to now, I feel like it has definitely darkened, gotten thicker. It has intensified. Mm -hmm. Now, is it still exactly the same as this one? No. Okay, but it's closer. It's closer now than the first time, than the first couple of weeks, first three weeks. It is definitely closer now to this one. And I'm gonna explain you that to that. I'm gonna explain that to you right now. So I have been wearing this on my both arms, but um let's just do it again. Because to me the biggest difference, okay, that to me has not changed since day one to now. That this one has not changed. Maybe it has intensified a little bit more but still not the same is the opening. The opening is different, okay? One of the things that I love about Guzman Kokang is how thick the opening is. So the opening on this one, even before you sniff your arm, just kind of like the sillage, okay, the projection. Oh yeah, I'm getting it right now that I don't even get on this one, okay? Guzman Kokang gives me this thick, syrupy, juicy dried fruit and chocolate combo okay so it's kind of like imagine like melted raisinets you know like um like like the raisins like the dried fruitness or like what you just think about any dried fruit okay uh within the same realm like like uh like prunes or or um some sort of berries so dried fruits and chocolate that's thick you'd oh yeah so the opening is very different, very different, okay? So the opening of Gourmand Kokang, you get that dried fruit mixed with the chocolate, you get that, I, I can't even explain to you what dried fruit smells like, but that's what I get, okay? Um, that's thick and syrupy, um, it's dense and dark, okay? Like this one, like the juice in this one, I feel like. I actually feel like they're sort of different. I mean, it doesn't really show on camera, but um, also the bottles are different. Um, yeah, it's not even as dark in the... There we go. That's much better. That's much. That's more accurate. 
okay? So this is like a dark brown pink. Um, this one's still pink, but it's more like some has some violet tint to it. But this has also aged and this has not. And also there are different bottles and you know that affects the how we perceive things. Aside from that, so that's the opening of Gourmand Cocaine. With Feb, okay, not not thick at all. It's very airy. It's very airy. It almost goes straight down to it's kind of like a uh, a powdery cacao. Not really much of a dry fruit. I feel like this has this doesn't have that. Or even if it does, it's very faint. It's a very yeah, it's just like a dusty cacao that's a tiny bit fruity. Um, it doesn't have the syrupiness. It doesn't have the thickness, okay? So as soon as you spray it, as soon as that alcohol dissipates, it's so dusty and light, okay? Super powdery, like a dusty cacao. Like, it, it, it even feels like... Um, like flour, you know, the feeling of flour, if you put it on your skin, like you can feel it, that's kind of rough and airy and light. Like you can feel the little, I don't know, uh, um, grains of the of the flour. With this one, it, this one is heavy and dense, okay? Like like even the feeling, like it's, it's weighty, it's weightier. Uh, Fev doesn't have that texture, so that is the biggest difference for me, okay? And um, I'm talking about now because, again, my initial experience, it's worse. It's better now, okay? So let's just talk about, let's focus on the now. I guess, yeah. So um, that is the biggest one. Now, when it comes to the dry down, okay? When it comes to the dry down, that's when it gets very, very similar. Um, it's even hard to differentiate to me like on the on the super super dry down like once you've been wearing it for like let's say 40 minutes this doesn't take that much time to achieve its full dry down um, that's when it gets similar but to me this one still has a little bit more weight to it in what sense I guess the dried fruit that even though it's dissipated a lot still gives that sticky texture um, it's stickier and thicker and kind of I don't know jammy jammier that's what I want like a jam like a fruit jam okay mixed with chocolate um, this one is similar okay and we're talking about the super dry down now this one is similar but it's not quite as jammy Okay, now in terms of like the sweetness, it's about the same. In terms of the chocolate chocolateiness, it's about the same. But Feb, okay, Feb, from the initial mid dry down, it maintains its airiness and dustiness. So this is a very dusty cacao, okay, or dusty chocolate. This one to me is more of like maybe uh, like imagine like a, a chocolate bar or like um, yeah like just like a piece of chocolate that, that you try to shave down like let's say like you have a very fine cheese grater and you try to turn it into like a finer version like you try to refine yeah, is that the right word? Yeah, you, you try to make the, the bar, the chocolate bar, you kind of grate it very finely. And that's more of like the type of cacao. Okay, so it's still heavier, weightier, um, more, has, it has more moisture than just like um, opening, um, I don't know, not, not really a can, what do you call that? You know, like when you buy like a her powdered Hershey's, it's kind of like a carton when it's, already fine and dusty um yeah so that's how the, the best way i could explain this to siyaj wise okay so let, let me explain to you let's, let's go back to those initial tests 
that I have with this one that I still stand by with I feel like this gives me a lot of like yeast it's very yeasty in terms of like bread it's bready it's yeasty um, I, I even think about like if you cut or a break break a bagel you know how it's kind of spongy inside you see those airy holes of a bagel that's what I think about like if you smell that that kind of yeast of a bread it gives me a lot of that yeah this one doesn't really give me that I mean it, it they are very similar now but this one gives me some yeastiness that this one doesn't have this one is just more of like that shaved grated um chocolate bar with like dried fruit raisins or some sort of berries uh like think about i mean i even think about like cadberries or like raisinets that's what this is it gives you more of like a tang whatsoever but yeah overall in the uber uber dry down if i don't think that if you have a full experience of gourmand kokang uh, that you're gonna be disappointed with this one. I think you will still be very happy with this one um, If you are, are already are happy with the Fev Gourmet, great, okay, um, but if you're not uh, I, I mean if you're like me Who's had a lot of experience with this with Gourmet Kokang um, Then that's probably when you get more a little bit um, More and then a little bit that, that's probably when you get more kind of like crit critical critical of all the details but that's just how I feel um, also I picked that up initially okay the major differences but again as this one ages it's becoming more similar to this but I really don't think that this will ever have the same opening as at as this one at least at the very least it's just you know it's like, like it's the opening maybe like the dry down like the base notes um they they can be pretty close but yeah I, so if you that's important to you then i don't know i really don't know anyway having done my initial test i was panicking i was like oh my gosh you know my favorite gourmand cocaine um I thought I can just get through ever refills at least in Paris and then now they're gonna be it's gonna be gone for it once it's gone it's gonna be gone forever um, I actually um, ordered a 1000 milliliter or one liter B bottle of Gourmand Coquang um, that I'm so excited to receive and I also ordered a couple a couple of La Matie, um bottles that i've been wanting and uh probably gonna do it on a short or i show you show it to you next time um i'm not sure yet but yeah i'm so happy it's already on the way to me so at least hopefully that's enough backup for life okay uh yeah so that's my review of fev gourmand and gourmand cocaine um let me show you my b bottle real quick again because i mean ah <gasps> It's just so pretty, so beautiful. I love it, absolutely love it. Okay, if you like any part of this video, please give me a like, okay? And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now. Um, I really do appreciate your support and I love all of your comments. I try my best to reply uh, as soon as I can and as much as I can. Um, I hope to see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye.